You think deserts are dry? At 35,000 feet, your aircraft's cabin air makes the Sahara look humid. Cabin humidity often sits at just 6 to 10 percent, far lower than the 25 percent you'd find in the desert itself. At cruising altitude, the outside air is minus 50 degrees Celsius and bone dry. The engines or compressors bring that air in, heat it and pressurize it, but they don't add moisture. And on older aluminium aircraft like the 747 or A330, higher humidity would trigger condensation inside the fuselage, leading to corrosion and structural damage. That's why passengers feel parched, with dry throats, itchy eyes, headaches and fatigue. The hidden cost? Dehydration also amplifies jet lag, making it harder for your body clock to reset after long haul. You're not just tired because of time zones. The air itself is stressing your body. Enter the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. With composite fuselages that don't corrode, they can safely raise humidity to around 15%. Still dry, but double what older jets could offer. Combined with lower cabin altitude, about 6,000 feet instead of 8,000, passengers arrive less exhausted, with fewer headaches and less brutal jet lag. So remember this, when you're flying long haul, the cabin isn't just dry, it's drier than the Sahara. Would you rather airlines focus on Wi-Fi at altitude or just give you air that doesn't leave you feeling like you've swallowed sandpaper.